Hi everyone, once again, welcome back to the course. In our previous video, we talked about vectors. Another face of this coin is the matrix. So in this video, we are going to discover what a matrix is, how to define one using Python, and then we will talk about different operations we can perform on matrix elements. Great. So let's start with what a matrix is. A matrix is a two-dimensional array of scalars with one or more columns and one or more rows, usually written between rectangular brackets like this one. It is also common to use large parentheses instead of rectangular brackets like this one. We usually give matrices uppercase variable names with bold typeface, such as A. An important attribute of a matrix is its size or dimensions the number of rows and columns. This matrix has three rows and four columns, so its size is three by four. A matrix of size M cross N is called an M into N matrix. Matrices are used throughout the field of machine learning in the description of algorithms and processes, such as the input data variable, often represented using the capital letter X when training an algorithm. Great. But how can we define a matrix in Python? We can represent a matrix in Python using a two-dimensional NumPy array. A NumPy array can be constructed given a list of lists. So to define a matrix, I will import the array method from NumPy. Then we will pass the matrix element as rows. And if we print that out, you can see here, it looks like a matrix representation. Awesome. Let's talk about the arithmetic operations on matrices. But one thing you should keep in mind before proceeding further, all operations performed on matrices will be element-wise between two matrices of equal size and result in a new matrix with the same size. The first operation is the addition. Two matrices with the same dimensions can be added together to create a new third matrix such as C equal to A plus B. The scalar elements in the resulting matrix are calculated as the addition of the elements in each of the matrix being added as you can see here. Let's implement this operation using Python. We can implement this in Python using the plus operator directly on the two numpy arrays. So come back to the existing example and create a new matrix called B. Keep in mind that this new matrix must also be the same size in order to perform the operation. To add them, I'll simply say C equal to A plus B. And if we run this, you can see the output here. Great. Let's explore the subtraction for matrices. Similarly, one matrix can be subtracted from another matrix with the same dimensions and can be represented as C equal to A minus B. So for its implementation, I will adjust the existing example. We just need to change the equation here as a C equal to A minus B. And if we run this program, we will get a new matrix with the same dimensions, but it's the result of subtraction. Great. Now let's take a look at the matrix multiplication. Two matrices with the same size can be multiplied together. And this is often called element-wise matrix multiplication or the hadamoid product. It is not the typical operation meant when referring to matrix multiplication. Therefore, a different operator is used, such as a circle. So for example, C equal to A, then I will place a small circle, and B. Similar to element-wise subtraction and addition, element-wise multiplication involves the multiplication of elements from each parent matrix to calculate the values in the new matrix. We can implement this in Python using the star operator directly on the two numpy arrays. So by utilizing the existing example, I will simply change the operator from minus to star, and it will give us the multiplication result. Great. The next operation is the division. One matrix can be divided by another matrix with the same dimension, such as C equal to A divided by B where A and B are different matrices with the same size. The scalar elements in the resulting matrix are calculated as the division of the elements in each of the matrices. We can implement this operation in Python 
using the division operator directly on the two NumPy arrays. So once again, in our previous example, we will simply change the operator from multiplication to division, and it will give us the result for the division of these two matrices. Awesome. Now let's take a look at the dot product of matrices. Matrix dot product is more complicated than the previous operations and involves a rule as not all matrices can be multiplied together. For example, C equal to A dot B. The rule for matrix multiplication is as follows. The number of columns in the first matrix such as A must equal the number of rows in the second matrix such as B. For example, matrix A has the dimensions M rows and N columns, and matrix B has the dimensions N and K. The N columns in A and the N rows in B are equal. The result is a new matrix with M rows and K columns. We present it in the form of an equation as C into M and K is equal to A into M and N dot B into N and K. So in short, one of the most important operations involving matrices is multiplication of two matrices. The matrix product of matrices A and B is the third matrix C. In order for this product to be defined, A must have the same number of columns as B has rows. If A is of shape M cross N, and B is of shape N cross P, then C is of shape M cross P. The matrix multiplication operation can be implemented in NumPy using the dot function. It can also be calculated using the newer at operator, since Python version 3.5. After importing the array and the dot function from NumPy, I will define two matrices A and B using the array method. Then, to grab the dot product using the dot function, I will say C equal to A dot dot and we will pass the B matrix to this dot function. If we print the result, you can see here. As I mentioned earlier, we can also calculate the dot product by using the newer at operator. So I will say D equal to A at B and if we print D, you can see it provides the multiplication result. Great. Another kind of multiplication can be used in matrix multiplication. It is the matrix to vector multiplication. A matrix and a vector can be multiplied together as long as the rule of matrix multiplication is observed. Specifically, that the number of columns in the matrix must equal the number of items in the vector. Because the vector only has one column. The result is always a vector. For example, C equals to A dot V. The matrix to vector multiplication can be implemented in Python using the numpy's dot function. We will have a matrix and a vector and then we will apply the dot function to them as A dot dot into V. The last one is the multiplication with a scalar. A matrix can be multiplied with a scalar. This can be represented using the dot notation between the matrix and the scalar, such as C equal to A dot B. The result is a matrix with the same size as the parent matrix where each element of the matrix is multiplied by the scalar value. This can be implemented directly in NumPy with the multiplication operator. You can see its implementation code here. We first defined a 3 into 2 matrix and a scalar and then multiplied them together. And here's the result. Awesome. So in this video, we explored what a matrix is and how to define one in Python with NumPy. How to perform element-wise operations such as addition, subtraction, and the head mod product. How to apply matrices together and the intuition behind the operation. Thanks for watching.